Hey Gona, you ready to go camping? We're gonna go do some car camping in the Volt this weekend. Well, more than a weekend. Hey, this is Matt Spies. Thank you for tuning in to Graceful Insight, where I hope you gain a deeper understanding for the reason you're here. I'm going to take my Chevy Volt here and I'm going to do some car camping. So this is a Napier or Napier um, back roads SUV tent. I've got it attached to my Volt right now. I'm doing a little test fit. It fits pretty well. Um, I'm pretty, pretty impressed with it. Um, I'll show you up close here. There is a little bit of a gap. Um, you know where it's not completely fully covering it, but it's pretty darn close. You can still open open the doors or open the rear, rear door. This is where I'm going to sleep a uh, majority of the time, and then once I find a spot to camp, I'll pitch this tent. Inside, it's it's really roomy. It's quite big. It's I think a five-person tent. So nice and roomy. I didn't put on the rain uh, shield, but from inside, I got access to you know, my food, my sleeping bag, everything inside. I can keep or I can put it in here and sleep in the car and have more room. So I'm pretty excited about it. It should be fun. So this is going to be my setup for the next 11, 12 days. I got the front seat removed and I have these three large totes. This tote has food in it, I got my water there, um, my hiking bag, which is just a book bag, um, laptop, um, Kona is my co-pilot. He's going to hang out back here. I have both seats folded down, uh, the seat cushions removed, so this part can fold flat down. Um, Kona will sleep on the driver's seat while I sleep across here. I've got two more totes back here. Um, this one just has miscellaneous, that one has my clothes. I'll put the tent and chips on this side, and I'll get I'll have um, almost it's like a little over seven feet of space from uh, the end of here clear up to the glove box. Obviously, I won't go that far. I don't need to go that far, um, but it does give you a lot of space if you uh, remove that front seat and um, lay the seats flat down. Uh, the only catch with this is um, I have an airbag light because the seats do have airbags. So that's a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, an issue, but we survived like, I don't know, 100 years without airbags, so I should probably be okay. Um, hopefully the code goes away once I put the seat back in. Um, but yeah, so that's my setup for the next several days. Um, everything packed in really nicely. I've got my... Uh, self-inflating air pad, uh, mattress pad there, and my s uh, sleeping bag, umbrella, one chair. I've got um, windshield cover there that I'll put up, and then I've got some um, screen, window screen coverings as well uh, that I'll put on the windows. Forgot to mention this, so this is Kona's seatbelt harness. So I got that at Pet Supply Plus. It just snaps into the uh, seatbelt clip there, and then that will clip onto his uh, harness here. All right, safety first. You ready to go for a ride? Let's keep going. Be sure to tune in for my next stop, River Raisin National Battlefield Park in Monroe, Michigan. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you there.